Greetings. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. This is my thoughts on the destruction of Puerto Rico and the recent hurricane that went through there. Uh, Puerto Rico's in a bad way. All most of their cell towers and power lines and everything has been destroyed. I mean, they were they're back in the Stone Age. And I was talking to an attorney who dealt with securities. They, she was with the Securities and Exchange Commission. And I was a business major, so I'm familiar with financial stuff and securities and what have you. And we were discussing some things. And she mentioned that uh, Puerto Rico's credit rating and their bonds are on in junk bond status. I mean, basically except for the tourism that they have and Bacardi and uh, Ron Rico rum, they have virtually no industry at all in Puerto Rico. I mean, it's if it wasn't for the welfare um, program of the United States, giving it to all the uh, Puerto Ricans, uh, they wouldn't have any money at all. So they're in trouble. But let's take a look at Nahum chapter 1 real quick. Verse 1, the burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum, the Elkoshite. God is jealous, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. For the Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind. And in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Hmm. What's a hurricane? A hurricane is a whirlwind. So the Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Now, Puerto Rico is predominantly Catholic. And when you read the Bible, it doesn't say anywhere in the Bible to pray to Mary. Now, when you talk to Catholics about this, they'll say, ah, well, we don't pray to Mary. Well, they're lying. Yes, they do pray to Mary. They kneel before a statue of a female, oftentimes holding a baby, and they call that Mary, and they call the baby Jesus, or Jesus, if you're Spanish, and they pray to it. Well, guess what? Jesus Nowhere in the Bible does it say to pray to Mary. Ask them to show you from the Bible where it says to pray to Mary. And of course, when you go to the Bible, they'll say, Ah, oh, well, you're a Protestant. You don't believe the Holy Father. You believe words on a piece of paper. Well, you know, I believe words on a piece of paper before I believe the Pope. What can I tell you? So, all right. In John 14, 14, Jesus said, If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. So, where does it say to ask in Mary's name? It doesn't. Um, John 16, 23, And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Well, how many Catholics, now Puerto Rico is predominantly Catholic. How many Puerto Ricans were praying in Mary's name? And yet, Puerto Rico is destroyed. I mean, let's face it, it they're in the Stone Age now. Their infrastructure is absolutely destroyed. And Puerto Rico is a territory of the United States. It's not a state, but yet the United States government is responsible for it. Florida's received a lot of damage. Houston received a lot of damage. Uh, you know, the government is on the hook for billions and billions and billions of dollars. So um, where does it say in the Bible, pray in Mary's name? Where does it say the, the rose, say the rosary? 33 times, or 66 times, or 666 times. It doesn't. 
You know, if they would have been asking in Jesus' name, maybe the storm would have gone out the sea instead of smacking Puerto Rico. But um, am I anti-Catholics? No, absolutely not. But am I against their teaching false things that I read in the Bible? Absolutely. Uh, of course, I don't consider myself a Protestant because I don't consider myself as having come out of the Catholic Church. I'm a Christian. The, uh, the Catholic, the Pope of Rome will tell you, oh, the Greeks are, they left the Catholic, Roman Catholic Church. Well, no, that's not true. No, that's not true. When you read about all the Thessalonica and Colossians and Corinthians and the seven churches in Asia, uh, like Laodicea and Phil um, Philadelphia, and you know, those churches in Revelation, those were churches in Greece. That's not Rome. You know, Rome wants you to think that they have apostolic succession and they're, they're the only one true church. No, there were churches. The Greek, all those were Greek churches. The New Testament was in Greek, not Latin. They might have, trans, they translated the New Testament to Latin, but, but originally the New Testament was in Greek. So when they tell you that uh, they're the original church and blah, 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 it's, it's garbage. It's a lie. So why did the storm hit Puerto Rico and wipe it out if they're predominantly, uh, they want to tell you that they're Catholics and they're Christians and, you know, uh, I guess prayers to Mary, I guess God didn't answer that, did he? Mary didn't answer their prayers, did she? No, she sure didn't. Puerto Rico's in the Stone Age right now. I hear 90-something percent of the island has absolutely no electricity. It'll be three to six months before they're back to a semblance of normal normalcy. So, what can I tell you? I think we should ask in Jesus' name, just like Jesus said. Jesus didn't say, well, pray to my mother, you know, and, and I'll listen to her, but I'm not going to listen to you, but I'm going to listen to mommy. No, it doesn't say that. But, uh, you know, and we're supposed to listen to what they call the Holy Father. Yeah, right. So, no thank you. All right, well, that's just my thoughts on uh, Puerto Rico. And, uh, you know, I, I, what can I tell you? You know, follow what the book says. The Bible. Yeah, the, the, the paper and the ink's not holy. But uh, the words that were spoken by Christ... Those words are holy. All right, well, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. That's Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen.